everybody. I'm Leora Sims. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to another Lotso case. I'm here with Susanna, who just bought this home. Susanna is feeling flirty right now because I just finished building another Sims 4 home and I had her play test that home. And she was watching romantic television. on that lot. This house is built on a 40 by 30 lot and it's called Grandma's Old House. I showcased a similar house a couple of weeks ago. On the channel. I like the way both houses came out. And that's why I didn't scrap one. I just gave, I just kept them both and gave them different names. Walls down. So when your sim enters the home, they're in this little foyer area. Off the foyer in this direction. is the first restroom in the home. And this is what the restroom looks like. You see the wallpaper. There's the floor. I love that floor. For certain things. And I very rarely get to use it. And I was surprised I was able to use it in this old style home. But I made it work. Some 
wall down again. If you go this way, if your sim goes this way, there are stairs right here right here i've been proud of myself um because in the last couple of weeks or so i really improved on my stair placement it always bothers me when stairs look awkward I've been trying to build two-story homes in the past four weeks or so because I want to master the art of stair placement in The Sims. And I've noticed also that my floor plans have improved. In my earlier houses, I had a habit of um, having a door on almost every wall and very rarely making hallways. But I have learned that too. And, and that also helped me with the stair placement. Let's put the walls down again slightly. This house, by the way, when you play, on, play in it, it's very easy to play in. That's why I kept the foundation so low. So if your sim goes straight this way, out of the foyer, they enter this small but adequate dining area. This is supposed to be a middle-class home. So I wanted it to have some fancy elements, but uh, it doesn't have a huge square. But a lot of old houses have a separation between... A lot of old houses have a foyer is what I'm trying to say. Or a space before you get into the living room. So here is the dining area. I spent a lot of time on this dining area, believe it or not. It was hard to get just the right shape and to have enough room for everything. I didn't want this dining area to look too small, but I didn't want it to take up that much room. If you go through this archway from the dining area, you're in the sitting room. In the sitting room, you just have these chairs. By the way, the sapphire color is one of my favorite colors in the world. So I am so glad that they added this.
wallpaper in that sapphire color. I love the wallpaper in all the colors. And the sapphire goes very well with this um, particular set, uh, shade of mixed war, in my opinion. And as you can see, there's a place for them to, uh, for whoever lives here to listen to music. case as well. Go back into the dining area and if you walk a little bit further this way you're in the kitchen but you can get to the kitchen through this archway Your sim is in the sitting room. They exit the sitting room this way, and they're in the kitchen. And again, I love the kitchen and this green wallpaper. I use the same wallpaper as in the sitting room, it's just a different color. And this was inspired by my childhood kitten. Uh, we didn't have counter type tops like this or a floor like this, but in my childhood home, I had green tree wallpaper. It was a picture of a tree and it was this color. So I like green for kitchens especially. There's a tea maker. And a fire extinguisher. And from the kitchen, you can exit outside. Falls down slightly. And as you can see, there are steps here, so this is th that door is not just for show. Your sim can use it. And there's plenty of room back here to plant. And I did have my sim. Actually it was Susanna. Plant some garlic out here because I didn't want vampires to come onto this lot, even though I used the vampire game pack, of course, for this build. I put this chair outside because to me it looks like an outdoor vent more than an indoor vent, especially in that color. And I wanted there to be a, a spot to sit out here besides the gazebo. 
I believe this is the first gazebo I built for a home. Well, it's just a, it's a sitting area. It's not. It, it may not. Well, yes, it is a gazebo. But I'm trying to see if. Yeah, there's the roof. I got scared for a moment. I knew that I, I put a, a roof on here. But if you watch my channel, you know that I have a hard time with um, sewing roofs. Not building them now, but sewing them is very difficult for me because of my eyes. And in this gazebo, you just have a chess table. I put the chess table out here uh, because I wanted a chess table and I couldn't comfortably fit it in the sitting room. And I also took inspiration from Amber Jet because um, she's doing a vampire's game pack let's play and I love the house that she built for that let's play outside she has a sitting area with fencing around it that's very different uh, than, than this one Purposely, I wanted to make it, I wanted it to be very different, but as I said, she inspired me uh, to build this area. I think the shape of it is similar, and she has a chess table out here as well. And that's basically all I could, well, that's all I could fit. Not basically all I could fit. That's all I could fit out here comfortably because I needed to put lights out here so that I could see. And of course I used this beautiful white uh, flooring. And I think that she used the wood for her gazebo. So again, it is very different, but she did inspire me a great deal. I've also done some collabs with her in the past. I can't wait to uh, work with her again. Okay, so now I'm going back into the hole. Sorry about this, guys. I don't want you to see the upstairs like that. It just seemed easier to go outside because the door outside was right there. So now, we're going this direction. There's a box for storage. To me, it looked a little like a hope chest. So that's why I put it there. And now we're upstairs.
Upstairs, we have this bedroom. next to this master well I don't know this is not the master bedroom so. next to this room is the um, for lack of a better word the master yes it is the master but now when you think of a master nowadays um, you think of a bedroom with an ensuite restroom. But in old houses, um, they didn't have that. The bathroom was usually across the hall. I made this, I call this the master bedroom um, because to me it looks fancy with the red wallpaper. But I think both bedrooms are of a similar size. And this is his hallway. Over here, you exit the master bedroom into this little tiny I wouldn't even call it a hallway, but it's meant to be a little bit of a separation. You go through a door, so it is technically a tiny little hallway, but really tiny, and you go into this you go from this the brown wallpaper into this restroom. As you as you can see, I use some new wallpaper. It's a very simple restroom, but it gets the job done. I tried to save money wherever I could in this house because I didn't want it to be too expensive because it's meant to be a middle class.
and here is the basement of the home. If you've watched my channel for some time, you know that I've talked a lot about basements. Sometimes one has to exit a home in order to get to a basement. And sometimes there, there's an entrance from inside the home. Um, in the south of the home that I grew up in, we had a small backyard um, of basically con of concrete and somewhere in the middle of that concrete was a stairwell and if you went down the steps in the basement. But I can't recreate that in Sims. If I close this wall, it would delete the stairs. But I just don't like to have stairs sticking out of the ground. So I always try to put something there to make it look like the structure that I want it to be when basements are outside in The Sims 4. I just want to point out before go into the basement that um, next to the gazebo, I put these water fountains. You can delete them if you want. You can do whatever you want. But I love the sound of water in The Sims 4. Outside, especially So I put them there for that reason. Because whatever houses I, whatever houses I show you, I use myself in my own gameplay. Now the basement is quite simple. And I kept it simple because I was trying to save money. Here is the basement. There's some cracks on the walls, in the walls, um, some water stains. Very dark wall covering. And you could do with this basement whatever you would like. You could put an extra bed down here. You can make it a dungeon. Um, you can definitely buy a coffin for your vampire sims if you wanted a vampire to live here um, because there is room for at least one coffin. You could put a game table down here. Anything you want. You might even put something down here that we don't have in the game as of this recording. I like this basement because it looks old and it's 
really meant for any need, any extra needs that you may have during gameplay. So I didn't want to decorate it um, and clutter it up. I mean, you might get a pool table on The Sims 4 one day, and you might want to put a pool table here. So that is the home. I'm going to go into build mode now. Again, this home is called Grandma's Old House. And Grandma's old house is 70,134 simoleons. It's technically a two-bedroom, two-bath. But you can make the basement a bedroom. Right now, game is on morning light. This is afternoon light. This is evening light. Let me go to the front here. This is night light. I'm going to go back to the afternoon lighting and go back into the gallery picture or pictures. As you can see, there's the roof. And a tree, some nice roof pieces, which I feel gives this house a little bit more character. I especially like the green door. And here's the second picture of the roof. Those are the pictures on the gallery that I feel are the most important. My name on the gallery is Leora18. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy this house. this house, you only need the base game, of course, 
and The Sims 4 Game Pack Vampires. That's it. No other content. Be happy, guys. Thank you so much for watching.